For this week's video, I will be reviewing Six of the Eight. No, I was just playing. <laughs> now we watching Lexi. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. That's actually me, Sam. For this week's video. <laughs> All right. I tested a one-star plastic surgeon. Hey, it's going to be fire. Because <laughs> she ain't got no lips, so. <laughs> Let's see. For this week's video, I will be reviewing six of the lowest rated health services, including a one star salon, one star buffet, and I'll even be going to a one star plastic surgeon. So let's head to the first one. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you went to a buffet? Honestly, I don't like eating food that's been left out, so, like, usually never. I love how you brought me here <laughs> to this one. It's like family style sharing. Yeah, not in my book. Well, let's see what other people have to say about it. Benjamin said foam plates, plastic forks, and knives, well aged desserts. Oh, not God. A luxury buffet. It's in the name, so... Yeah, very misleading. Charlie said, this place is stanky. This place is 5'8". I mean, we'll see, I guess, when we get in there. Jonathan uh, says, eat at your own risk. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Did I mention this place sucks? Roger said, avoid this... Why is no good buffets in there? That's crazy. I'll make a buffet restaurant. Mm -hmm. This place like the play. Oh, wow. Oh, After reading all these, you expect me to go inside. You still want to go yeah. in? Oh, gosh. I walked into the buffet and it seemed like no one had eaten there since before I was born. Literally, not one person. Wow, that's big too. Said. Hello. And the food looked like it had been sitting there for just as long. Benjamin was right about the plastic forks. Yes, we have plastic forks, knives, and spoons. Let's hit it. Let's get to the buffet. Oh, Benjamin, again, you are correct. These are styrofoam. There's yeah. literally one piece of Brazilian steak. There's literally nothing else on this tray. I don't really trust the face because who knows how long it's been sitting here. Well, it was $35 a person. Yeah, we oh, wow. We started making our plates and walked further down the buffet until we noticed something that shocked us. What in the world is that? It, it says it's chicken feet. Go for it. You brought me here. Try it. I'm not trying it. We sat down and had to give a shout out to our boy Michael and recreate his iconic photo. Okay, so the food doesn't look that bad. No. But for $35, this isn't worth it. I also think for $35, there should be. There's a buffet. You got you like five or six plates. You can't eat one plate for 35 <laughs> it's a buffet, you gotta go back. Mm -hmm. Empty food station. Yeah. We had sushi that I would never eat. We've decided to boycott the sushi just based on their reviews. But we have full plates of pretty much everything else, so let's try it. Okay, we're literally eating on styrofoam plates. Right? Yes. This pizza looks like it's rubber plastic. The pizza looks very old. It looks like a toy. At a moment. Oh, man. It's honestly not that bad. I mean, everything tastes very average. Is it edible? Bad. As long as it's edible. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's These were supposed to be garlic noodles, and to me, they tasted like rubber. Nothing else. Look how it's sad this shrimp looks. Bread, however, is not bad. Well, you can't really mess up bread. Yeah, these are like they literally just reheated frozen mac and cheese. I was about to say, everything just looked like it's reheated from frozen. Sometimes potatoes are cold. It's like they didn't even reheat it from the from being frozen. I thought this was gonna be one of those where like the reviews are bad, but like you go and it's actually like you know pretty good. No, no, no surprise here. No, the reviews are pretty yeah, accurate here. There's oh, no man. The booths are empty. The tables are empty. The only people that are actually here are the workers themselves. I think everyone's out with food poisoning. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to our surprise, the food wasn't as bad as it looked, and it was finally time to leave a review. The food tasted like rubber. The paper plates reminded me of an elementary school potluck. But overall, Brad and I had fun playing with the crab legs. Three stars. We're here. Lexi, why did you bring me here? Well, because, Dom, you're the closest person I know to being a kid. What? Yeah. I'm not a kid. I've actually been here once before when I was six, and um, I like this place. So you're six okay. Like, they did a good job? Well, no, like, I haven't been back. What am I doing here? <laughs> why am I here? Lexi, they're going to mess up my hair. No, I don't think your hair can get much worse. What? Let's read some of the reviews before we go in. Megan Jacobo said, it's like visiting the Wicked Witch of the West House. Dude, what does that even mean? <laughs> Would not recommend to my worst enemy. There's no way I'm getting my hair cut here. Dom, that's why I brought you here. You're my worst enemy. Are you kidding me? They said they wouldn't bring their worst enemy. <laughs> this one is literally insane. Ashley said, My daughter had lice after she got her hair cut here. <laughs> Let's see, if they actually That's crazy. mess up my hair enough, I might have to just shave it all off. Well, it would probably still look better than it does right now. Okay. Is my, is my hair that bad? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Dom, I think you're going to look like that after your haircut. <laughs> I like trendy. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. This is like the cast of Twilight. Hey, Dominic's turn. Slight trim. Or maybe like a mohawk. I know. I think that. Bro, your hair don't look bad at all. You look normal. Uh, I got a mohawk. Yeah, I got a mohawk. This hair look normal. Look like Scooby Doo. I mean, he like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Oh, fancy! Right now. What is happening? Okay, turn around for me. Wow! Okay, okay. Kind of like movie star now. <laughs> oh, Honestly, what do you think? I don't hate it. Really? Do you? Yeah, all right. I mean, I've never had it's hair right. like it. Like it looks so short. I said a little tree. Okay, like somebody dad. We said a little trim. She brought out the buzz cutters. We said a little trim, and she went in. I've actually never seen your hair this short. I've never cut my hair this short, ever. I'm going to need a couple months to recover. <laughs> the shock was a blast from the past. Kelly's blood pressure reached new heights, and... And Lexi wasn't very nice to me today. Three stars. <laughs> so, Pearson, you're long overdue for a makeover. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Pearson, run. Run. Lexi always doing them like this. It's great. So today I'm going to be giving you a glam makeover from the worst rated makeup artist. That doesn't like, sound like a makeover to me. Anything can help. I'll take any help I can get. Wait, I just thought I'd do something <laughs> nice for you. That doesn't sound very nice. Well, the reviews aren't any nicer. Oh, <laughs> great. Catherine said, I should have known better, but I had no choice but to go here. I got my makeup done by a lady named Evelyn. I couldn't believe how awful it looked. She had no clue what she was doing. So when we go inside, we're going to be asking for Evelyn. Evelyn, I feel like today's her day. I don't think it's ever her day. Jackie said, I didn't have the heart or the time to have Evelyn wipe it all off and fix it. Um. Overall, I would never come back here to get my makeup done. I'll stick to freelance makeup artists who have photos of their work. No, <laughs> I'm going to walk out of this store and not say a single thing and just be crying afterwards. I'm not going to say that it's bad. Okay, Pearson, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, okay? Oh, are you ready? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. One star Let's go. Play. Do you know if Evelyn's working today? No, she's not. Okay, thank you. Okay, Evelyn's not working today, but another makeup artist is going to be doing Pearson's makeup, so we'll see how it goes. What are we doing today, Lex? A full glam makeover. Yay! <laughs> so, Pearson, you never wear makeup, right? I wear a little, but not, like, heavy makeup. Well, are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. <laughs> you do anything about the unibrow? <laughs> so it could be nice and give Pearson like a nude lip, but I think she'd look better in a bright pink. That's where. <laughs> I think these are the lipstick colors that we're gonna go with. Yeah, but, real bright. but I think it's different. Oh, I see you tested it on your skin there. Oh, I did. Wow. <laughs> you know that, Lexi, why are you not getting your makeup done? Yeah. Well, because Pearson, later on in the video, I'm gonna be getting something done to my face. You of all people. I know. No, you're not. I am. I'm actually gonna do it. I can't wait to see the end of this video. <laughs> Pearson's makeover was coming to an end, and let's. Oh. Let's just say I was pretty shocked with the results. Oh. Okay, so this is Pearson's final look. <laughs> oh. Pearson, if I'm being honest, it is not that bad. You know what went bad was the lips, which was your decision. If we left it in her hands, this would have been great. I look great. I look stunning. Mm -hmm. But this, that was on you. <laughs> and I'm coming for you, girl. Okay, you know what, Pearson? You're the worst rated makeup artist. Excuse it's me? It's you. I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, that all you want? <laughs> you kind of did Pearson didn't look bad if she was trying to book a little Pennywise to clown. But the only review that matters is this one. Four stars. I second that one. You look beautiful. You really think so? Yeah. Oh, no, no, not that. I don't want your lips to color. Oh, Liv, you've been looking a little... Actually, yeah. Look pretty. Actually. Um, <laughs> Pale lately. Thanks. So today you're going to be getting a spray tan. Oh, that's actually so nice of you. Yeah, from the worst rated tanning salon. Oh, that's actually so nice. <laughs> How nice of you. Why? All right, let's see what the reviews have to say about this place. Darlene said, I turned orange in all caps. Uh oh. Yeah, Liv, your body is going to be a different color. Ooh. Oh, gosh, I can wait to see this. How do y'all like, like that? Why don't y'all never get it back? You gotta get it back, man. And it wasn't even. It looked horrible and fake. I had to scrub and scrub to get it off. Sounds great. Let's hope you don't end up like Darlene. <laughs> yeah. Rudy said, it went off unevenly, leaving me with a huge dark ring around my ribs, and it rubbed off on my white dress. This better scrub off. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> don't wear white lips. Relish Dead said, if you wish to smell like a thrift store and have the most expensive and lightest colored dress you will ever own, smeared in brown muck, then definitely get one. She also says, nothing is better for white wedding photos than a super orange body and a stark white face. Oh, she's mad. She had yeah. some things to say. My question to you is... I mean, she stayed on there too long. 
Yeah. Why would you go to the worst rated tanning salon before your wedding? <laughs> Wait, that's so true. Well, Liv, I'm wishing you luck. Well, after those reviews, I'm going to... Do you have a Need it. Okay, thank you. See, I'm going to look like that. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Liv, I think you're going to try to look like this, yeah. but you're going to be the shade of this. Uh -huh. uh, let's hope not. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so Liv has to be completely naked for this, so I'm gonna be sitting right here in the little oh, corner. Wow. You can't see this part. No, we can't. So, oh, okay. Hey, I'm just gonna. Okay, good I'm luck. Get undressed. Have fun. <laughs> Liv is getting her spray tan right now. I'm How's it going, Liv? It's cold, but it feels good. A little cold, but it feels really good, and honestly, it's looking amazing. It's making me miss summer a lot. Three. Two, one. Oh my god. I know. What? I know. Oh. It does look good, actually. Why don't they ever do their faces, too? Hmm. Oh my I am god. Bronzed. You are bronzed. Wait. Yo, Liv. I know. Look at my it back. It looks so good. It's crazy. It's I know. It looks so, so good. good. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like it's that Spongebob episode where they have to do oh, like, a it to get <laughs> Wow, Liv. Bronze Beach Babe. You are right. very bronze. I know. Okay, I have to admit, you are very bronzed, but it does look pretty good. It looks good. It, isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's insane. The only thing I would say is maybe the difference between your face and the rest of your body. <laughs> <laughs> With makeup. So Liv, your spray tan surprisingly looks really good. Mm -hmm. So I have a few good things to say about this one. Overall, Liv doesn't look like she came straight out of the Jersey Shore, so I'm giving this one a four stars. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Whoever gave them one star, they were just hating. <laughs> Jeremy, have you ever gotten something waxed before? Um, like an extremely long time ago. Well, Jeremy, it looks like you could use a wax. Why do you say that? Your unibrow says a lot. Really? You, it's basically, your unibrow is like looking at me right now. <laughs> so Jeremy, since you haven't been waxed in a long time, I brought you to one of the worst reviewed waxing places in the city. Why would you do that? Well, how does it add up to each other? I need to get waxed so you're going to take me to the worst place possible. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, I don't think my unibrow is causing anybody else problems, all right? Okay, let's read the reviews. Heather says, I came home to find that there were entire patches of hair mixed in my wax. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we here? Rebecca says, after the brief but childbirth level pain intensity, I looked down and saw that my hair was still attached to my body, but all the wax was now attached to that hair. <laughs> 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 right now? Nick says, I went in for brow and nose waxing. I left with missing chunks of my mustache and bleeding. Damn, okay, I'm definitely not going to get my mustache done now. You, you can't grow a mustache. Here, edit on a mustache for me. <laughs> Lindsay says, I went in for a face wax and came out with a massive burn patch. What's a burn patch? Oh, I think you're about to find out. Let's go. No, I'm not. Let's go, Jerry. No, are you scared? Are you scared? <laughs> Should he be scared? <laughs> no, Jeremy. Why? It's all you. I don't need my eyebrows done like you need yours done. I know, I do need them done. <laughs> Lexi, can you hold my hand for the pan? No, Jeremy, I can't. Oh, you're making me do this. <laughs> hold my hand. Oh, man. Let's count it down. Stop, you're hyping this up too much. You're scaring me. Get ready? Yep. Oh, oh wow. I heard that. Whoa. I haven't got my eyebrows done in a while. Clearly. It's gonna be looking good like this. Ah, it's gonna be hard to make you look good, Jeremy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, Jeremy, this one's gonna hurt a little bit more. Stop. Stop <laughs> it. Then you relax. Three, two, one. Ooh. My face is stinging right now. Why do you hurt more? Well, you said it's gonna hurt more? Uh oh, here we go. Let's get it. <laughs> Wow! I'm sweating. Right? <laughs> oh my god, where are my eyes really? <laughs> yeah, that's really. Really? You see the difference? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, uh, so, you think we can go on a day after this since I'm all touched up and ready to go? No, definitely not. <laughs> I think that's why you wanted me to come here. I think Lexi is trying to transform me. Jeremy, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad did this hurt? Mmm, say like an 8.5. <laughs> an 8.5? Yeah. Okay, Jeremy, I think there's one more thing we have to watch. No! <laughs> Lexi, why? Oh! I do a few times like this. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> god. <laughs> Dude, check this out. Here, take it. No, 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 no. Subscribe. <laughs> Jeremy, would you say you had a pretty good experience here? Yeah, I did. Look at my eyebrows now. I think it was worth it. Honestly, Jeremy, they look pretty good. Huh? They do look no, fine. not like that. I mean, like, Whoa. your eyebrows look good. I think that since you liked it so much...
What the? It do make one different. Hey, yeah, that does a fire. You should leave a review. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> I think my new look is gonna be good enough for Lexi to go on a date with me, and she said it looked good, so I'm gonna have to give it five stars. Hey. All right, the moment I have not been waiting for. I'm about to get plastic surgery. This might be the most extreme thing I've ever done Finally. in a video, and I'm honestly <clears throat> so terrified to read these reviews. I feel like these reviews are the ones I should believe the most because there's no going back after this. Laura said, I got my lips and chin done today, and it's 4 a.m., and I'm still awake in agony. Well, fingers crossed when 4 a.m. rolls Jeez. around, I will be sleeping. Sleeping with my luscious lips. Sharon says, I have lumps under my eyes and all over my nose. I will be seeing him in court soon. Wow. Well, I mean, Sharon, did you fight your surgeon or did he give you the plastic surgery? <laughs> Michelle said, The lady that operated on me was an absolute. But since she's a plastic surgeon, I guess we'll call her a botch. You know, Michelle, I'm glad that even after your surgery went wrong, you still have a sense of humor. I hope hmm. you weren't joking. Lindsay wrote, the plastic surgeon there didn't even remember my name. I should have known then that he was bad with faces. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. These reviews are ruthless. With every review, I get more and more nervous. Hmm. Anna says, he has great manners and he was very polite, but he ruined my lips. Next. Okay, this person left five stars and they attached a photo. <laughs> All right, let's go do irreversible damage to my face. All right, I'm about to get my numbing cream. I'm getting my lips done. Uh, okay, the numbing cream is on. I think I just got it on my tongue. This is definitely the most extreme thing I've ever done for a video. I can't feel anything. Honestly, everyone got to do some pretty easy things compared to this. I definitely say the worst one for myself. As soon as I sat down on the chair, I took one last look at my lips because they'll never be the same after this. Ah! Here we go. <sighs> People ever cry. Uh, she did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Regardless of the numbing cream, I still felt the intense pain of the needle, and immediately after, I saw a huge difference in my lips. I can't feel my face. Well, we've done it. We did. <laughs> I jumped back. Well, that looked crazy. Oh my gosh, that looks too crazy. Like a duck now. Nah, a duck got the little lip, the little beak go across. Look, let it stick out. <laughs> Actually, I have juicy, luscious, okay, lips. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I still can't really feel my lips. Numbing pain and all, this still really- uh, I like the other lips. <laughs> but, but honestly, you guys, they don't look too bad, and they're also really swollen right now. So we're hoping for the best. One side big than the other side, too. Like, one side a little bit- mm. She really did that. Oh, God. Like they just shot water in her lips or something. Like, that was weird. You would think that I went one-on-one -on -one with Prime Mike Tyson, but in reality, this was my audition tape to be the next Kardashian. Five stars. All right, let me get a new ice okay. pack. This really hurts. I wonder how long it's going to stay. I guess we'll see in the next video how her lips look. See y'all in the next one, man. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, man. We out. Peace.